Have you ever stood at a fuel pump, stared at the nozzles, and wondered, what's really the difference between diesel and gasoline? Sure, one might be cheaper in some places, and the other smells a bit stronger. But beyond the price tag and the distinct scent, diesel and gasoline are two very different beasts when it comes to how they're made, how they behave, and how engines use them. Today we're diving under the hood, literally and figuratively, to explore what sets these two fuels apart, and why that matters whether you're driving a pickup, a family sedan, or just curious how things work, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start at the beginning. Where do diesel and gasoline even come from? Both are derived from crude oil, the thick, gooey fossil fuel pumped out of the earth. When crude oil is refined in a facility called a petroleum refinery, it's separated into different components based on their boiling points. Gasoline is one of the lighter fractions, meaning it evaporates and ignites more easily. Diesel, on the other hand, is a heavier fraction thicker, more oily, and with a higher boiling point. Even at this early stage, the fundamental difference is clear. Gasoline is more volatile and flammable, while diesel is denser and slower to burn. This difference in physical properties plays a big role in how the fuels are used. Gasoline, being lighter and more volatile, is perfect for fast combustion. Diesel, being heavier, burns slower but more efficiently. That's why diesel tends to pack more energy per liter. It's denser and provides more torque, which brings us to engines. This is where things get really interesting. Gasoline engines and diesel engines don't just burn fuel differently, they actually work differently. A gasoline engine uses what's called a spark ignition system. That means it compresses a mixture of fuel and air, then ignites it with a spark plug. It's a quick burst of combustion that creates power and moves your car forward. That spark is crucial because gasoline isn't dense enough to ignite just from compression alone. Diesel engines, however, rely on compression ignition. In simple terms, they don't use spark plugs at all. Instead, they compress the air in the cylinder so much that it gets extremely hot. Then diesel fuel is injected into this hot, high-pressure environment, and boom, it ignites on its own. Because diesel compresses the air much more than a gasoline engine, it creates more torque. That's why diesel engines are often used in trucks, buses, and machinery that need to haul heavy loads. It's not just about speed, it's about pulling power and efficiency. Now, let's talk about what people care about most, fuel economy and performance. Gasoline engines are generally known for their responsiveness and smoother acceleration. They rev higher, which is great if you're looking for speed or performance, especially in passenger cars. But they also burn through fuel more quickly, particularly at high speeds or under heavy loads. Diesel engines, in contrast, are the champions of efficiency. Because diesel fuel contains more energy per liter than gasoline, and because diesel engines run at higher compression ratios, they can go farther on a single tank. That's one reason why long-haul trucks and commercial vehicles use diesel. It just goes the distance better. But that efficiency comes with a trade-off. Diesel engines are typically louder, more rigid, and a bit slower when it comes to acceleration. There's also the matter of emissions. Diesel engines emit less carbon dioxide per kilometer, which sounds great, but they produce more nitrogen oxides and particulates, tiny particles that can be harmful to air quality. Gasoline engines produce more carbon dioxide overall, but fewer particulates. It's a bit of a trade-off, and that's one reason why modern vehicles, especially in Europe, have had to use diesel particulate filters and selective catalytic reduction systems to meet environmental standards. 
Let's say you're living somewhere cold. You might want to consider how each fuel type handles frigid temperatures. Diesel engines, for all their efficiency, have a harder time starting in the cold. That's because diesel fuel thickens when it gets cold. It gels up. And because diesel engines rely on heat from compression to ignite fuel, starting one on a winter morning can be a bit tricky. Many diesel vehicles come equipped with glow plugs or block heaters to help warm things up. Gasoline, being lighter and more volatile, doesn't have this issue. It starts more easily in the cold and doesn't need those extra systems to get going. This can be a big factor depending on where you live. On the flip side, diesel engines often last longer. Their parts are built tougher to handle the higher compression and temperature. So diesel engines typically have a longer lifespan and can rack up more kilometers before needing major work. But they do require more maintenance when it comes to things like fuel filters, injectors, and emission control systems. One thing anyone can pick up on, without knowing a thing about engines, is the sound. Diesel engines are louder. That iconic clatter you hear from a delivery truck or older pickup? That's diesel doing its thing. It's partly due to the higher pressure combustion and partly because older diesel engines lack the insulation and muffling systems of modern vehicles. Today's diesel engines are quieter than they used to be, but they still have a rougher, more mechanical sound compared to the softer hum of a gasoline engine. Then there's the smell. Diesel fuel has a distinct, almost oily odor. If you get it on your hands, you know it's going to stick around for a while. Gasoline, on the other hand, has that sharp, volatile scent. Still strong, but more likely to evaporate quickly. The driving experience also differs. Gasoline vehicles usually offer quicker throttle response and smoother rides, while diesel vehicles often feel more grounded, more forceful at low speeds, especially when towing or hauling. What about cost? Depending on where you are in the world, diesel may be cheaper or more expensive than gasoline. In some countries, diesel is subsidized because of its importance in commercial transport. In others, environmental taxes have pushed its price above gasoline. But it's not just the fuel cost, you also have to think about the vehicle. Diesel engines tend to cost more upfront, and in many regions, diesel cars have become less popular due to changing emissions laws. So, what's the bottom line? Diesel and gasoline might both come from the same source, but they serve very different purposes. Gasoline is fast, smooth, and easy. Great for daily commuting, light driving, and colder climates. Diesel is dense, efficient, and built for tough jobs. It hauls, it climbs, and it lasts. Whether you're filling up your tank or choosing your next vehicle, understanding the difference can help you make a smarter decision. And next time you're at the pump, you'll know. It's not just about fuel. It's about how everything works under the hood. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.